Yeah, I'm going to fall a hamstring or something here. Good practice <laughs> Sorry, today? Oh, well, sure, sure, sure. Two, two, it's two. okay. You've been real happy this year with us. <laughs> what's, what's the deal? Well, you know, I, I've, I've been happy with, you know, how hard a guy's been working. And, uh, you know, now it's starting to get closer. And uh, now, now you can kind of feel the intensity changing a little bit. We're still... We're still really concentrating on ourselves. It really needs to be that, that we're concentrating on ourselves. We, we can concentrate all we want on another opponent, but until we have ourselves right, uh, you know, we're just going to be spinning our wheels. So we're making progress, but boy, we still got a lot of work to do. Are you ready to name a starting quarterback so we can stop asking? <laughs> and I would love to have that question not asked. Um, we're not there yet. We're getting closer. Um, you know, I, I don't know if it's going to be one of those things, hey, this is the guy. Hey, away we go. It's all settled forever. We obviously are going to have a starting quarterback game one, um, but we're not, we're not there. We're getting closer. These kids have all gotten a lot of reps, and um, you know, I think we're kind of formulating our plan, and we still got a few more days to kind of figure that out. For whoever, for whoever that kid is, yeah. ends up being, when do you need to make that decision known to them so that they can start preparing for next Friday? Yeah, uh, uh, we'll make it early enough for all those guys, but they're all preparing to be the starter. And it could be play two, where one guy started and something happens. And so that, that mentality can never change. I mean, it's such a long season. And I really mean that for all of our guys. You know, everybody wants to focus on this position. But, you know, we're going to have true freshmen playing. I mean, we did last year. And so they might not be starting right away. But I, I, you know, I remember way back when uh, we were playing Georgia, way back when, and uh, we were debating whether we were going to play, you know, this DB or not. And uh, we said, well, we'll just kind of see how the game goes. We can get through it. And the opening kickoff, the starter goes down. You know, that made that decision pretty easy. And so it's just such a long season. So so many guys got to be ready to go. So do you feel like because the game's on a Friday that you want to? take care of that by this Friday, by Monday? Um, what does your kind of gut just tell well, you? Well, we're, you know, I mean, because it's on a Friday, uh, that means, you know, where everything's moved right. one, one back. Um, we'll, we'll get it figured out in the next, next couple of days. Okay. So then when, it's, when is it about Boise State and not about you? Um, you know, next couple of days, it's about exactly what they do. Um, but they do a lot. And so you can't defend everything. I think our systems are similar. So will there be some things that we haven't seen? Absolutely. Will there be some things they haven't seen? Absolutely. But in general, you know, the systems offensively and defensively are pretty similar. How's your offensive line coming along and Eldon can't move over to guard? Yeah, he, he, Jake's done a nice yeah. job. Uh, he can play multiple positions. Um, but we got about seven or eight guys that may all play. And, uh, and we're working hard to get that figured out. Back, back to the, your favorite topic, the quarterback conversation. Yeah. Um, and you kind of alluded to it there a little bit, but are, are you okay playing two guys at, at that spot? Or do you want to have one guy that is the guy? I think everybody wants to have one guy that's the guy. Um, are we there? We're not there. Mm -hmm. And we might be mm -hmm. in a few days, and we might be in a couple months. And so this is always going to be kind of – and, again, it's not something I want because I know it's going to be such a hot topic with you guys. Like, what about the quarterback? What about the quarterback that we always got to talk about? So – but it is what it is. Mm -hmm. You know, we just – we got to take it day by day and week by week. How much know? has Browning improved or not improved, I guess, whatever, since he first showed up for spring ball? Yeah, he's – I mean, I think they're all getting better. And certainly with, with Jake, he, he's getting better. Um, How's he gotten better? Every, every day. I think just more command with the system, really knowing it. I mean, again, we've thrown a lot at these mm -hmm. guys. And so we're getting to that point where we're, we're, we're going to, you know, pair it all back now because there's, there's a lot of things that guys are thinking. And so it's been a little bit hard on our new guys, which it always is. But because we're going to play new guys, we got to tighten it up. How much do you weigh the inexperience on the offensive line versus playing a young quarterback behind there who – the guy is not very mobile when he's got a couple of the guys. Yeah. You know, um, some things to escape and all that. Yeah, all, all that's factored in. All, all, all of it is. Um, but we're just trying to say at that position, you know, what gives us the best chance at this time at the right guard? What gives us the best position at this time? And so all that's factored in. Um, but I think it's, uh, you know, like I said, it's just constant. It's, it's going to be like that this year. And I can see that not just at the quarterback position. It's going to be some young guys that we're going to keep pushing. And I don't think about this, hey, we got, uh, you know, whatever days, how many days do we play our first game? You know, I think about, okay, we're going to be a month from now. Because we just, whether it's a true freshman or a redshirt freshman or 
you know, a sophomore, a true sophomore. We have so many of those guys that we're going to keep pressing and we're going to keep improving. And so that's how I kind of see this. You've, I think a lot of people on the outside have assumed that Linkwist being the one guy who has a little bit of experience that would be the mm -hmm. safe pick or whatever you want to label it. Uh, do you buy into that? And does, would that be maybe a tipping point that he's gone on the road and started a game in the opener and all that? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, all that stuff matters um, when we're trying to figure this out. But these kids have gotten a lot of reps. And uh, they really have. I think we've gotten a, I got the count upstairs, but by next couple of days, I mean, it is going to be a lot. Of, and I'm talking about team reps. So we've been able to see a lot of things. Like thousands. Uh, <laughs> it's, yeah, yeah, no, it, it's, it's, it's in the, the mid to close to 2,000 uh, reps. And so, you know, that's with everybody, the whole team. Just in fall camp? Yep. Yeah. And so we've, we've seen a lot. And so, but all, all of it matters. Mm -hmm. Chris, with your secondary not as green this year, can you do more exotic things uh, schematically with them? Yeah. A little more trust factor? I mean, you know, I don't know if we need to do more exotic things. You know, we just, we just need to play tighter, better coverage. And I think we're doing some of those things. And it is, you know, I think that's interesting. You say, you know, more experienced. You know, most of these guys played, they played a year. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times you're thinking, you know, two, three years, these are experienced guys, but that's what they are. Um, but I think we're making progress there. Um, I think they've, I think they've gotten better since last year, and uh, you know we still got a couple kids back there that, that are going to be playing that haven't played at all. A couple of those safeties that, that haven't played. So, you know, it's uh, it's an interesting time because it's an exciting time. It's also a worrisome time because they haven't been into the real real thing yet. As you guys have these talks and sort through your your true freshmen. Or, are there a handful who you think you know right now are absolutely going to play this year? We um, are getting close to that. Yeah, a couple of days we kind of sit down with all of our players and kind of tell them where we think they are. And then we make our plan from there and go forward and we tell them, hey, this thing adjusts day by day, week by week, but this is where we are right now. And uh, see what they think about it, <clears throat> make sure we're all on the same page. And if we think about playing a guy, making sure he wants to play a guy, and that doesn't mean he's going to be a starter right now. Uh, could mean he's a starter, but for a lot of them, it doesn't mean they're a starter. But it's like, hey, we'll see how the season goes. And, Hopefully you can be. Other than the quarterback, where are your biggest battles right now for starting positions? Oh, good question. I think, uh, you know, the O-line, we're still figuring some things out there. Um, I think a running back, we're still figuring some things out there. Um, you know, we'll, play, we'll play a lot of receivers. I think we'll play the tight ends. Um, I think we're going to rotate guys in the D-line, you know. I don't really think of us as just like <clears throat> starters because they line up there the first couple plays. I mean, it's going to be awesome. We're going to get a lot of guys to play, and then you kind of earn reps from there. You mentioned running back. A lot of people thought maybe Dwayne would emerge as that lead guy. Yeah. Uh, do you see it being more of a committee now as you go into fall camp, or do you see him being that guy that, that takes that role? And you know, we'll see. Um, I, think we got, I think we got a little bit of depth there, and so I think they're going to push each, push each other. Um, but it's also a little bit hard to evaluate those guys. We've had like two scrimmages, a couple live things, and so that's the and so we're getting all those backs reps, and so it's not like he's carried the ball a whole ton. That's where I think the backs, you know, that, that's where you evaluate backs when it's live. I mean, a lot of stuff we do, I can look okay back there getting the ball, and I emphasize okay, nothing more than that. But you guys know what I mean. I mean, who can break a tackle? Who can make a guy miss when it's not all clean? I mean, that's that's really what we're looking for. Where's where, where's sorry, where, where's Buddha? Just kind of on that, on that seating chart at running back, as you like. To say. At running back, uh, I, or I, any, any yeah. offensive role. For yeah, that. and so we'll develop as as we go. You mm -hmm. know, we'll we'll have some things for him, but uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, what about special teams for him? Yep, um, he he'll be uh, he's you know return game. Um, I mean, Buddha Buddha can play on every single thing we have. Yeah, he can play on offense, play on defense, play on all of our special teams without question. But he's also one of those guys, again, is the true freshman that took more reps than anybody. And mm -hmm. so we've got to make sure that we're really smart and we don't say, Buddha can do this, Buddha can do this. we got to get some other guys that can do that as well to just mm -hmm. make sure he can last the season. Is he, I mean, is, is he, I guess, your primary kickoff return guy right now? Or? Well, we got a couple guys that will work in there. And, uh, you know, right now I think he's, he's right up there with the tops of them. Okay. Chris, is this one of the deepest group of tight ends you've had as a coach, and how will that affect your game plan? We could go two, three, multiple formations with these guys. We, we like tight ends. Um, you know, I'm not sure if it's the deepest, but we do we do like where we are. Um, but I also know that this is a tough position to play, not only mentally, physically, and so things change so rapidly at that position. All, all it does is takes you know one guy's down for a little bit. And now, all of a sudden, we're not really deep. You know, when you have four guys or mm -hmm. five guys like that, 
it can change rapidly. Right now, we're doing pretty good. How did you guys find out about Connor Griffin? How did that come um, together? That's a great question. Um, I'm not sure how we got uh, information that he was looking to play football. And, uh, and so then I talked to Mark Few, <laughs> and he was, uh, he was just all about him. And, um, and I know he played at a really good high school there in Oregon, uh, Lake O. And, uh, and so everybody was saying all these things. And I, I mean, we were kind of curious because it's such a hard position mentally. Um, and then we asked him to do everything, block, catch. Like, the one thing you see is his athleticism, and it's been really, really impressive. I think the other thing that's been really impressive is really how well he's picked this up. He had no spring ball. And so he's a ways to go, but just right. it's, it really is a demanding position. And he, he hangs in there and battles, and so he'll be interesting guy to watch. Yeah. Is he, he a, I mean, ideally, do you sit him a while? Or, well, know, he's, with the depth or he's, he's a, already used his rest Yeah, he's okay. a three for three guy. Okay. So we'll just see how it goes. Okay. Chris, yeah. there's a lot of talk this week about Sam and Kawachu and his transfer yeah. from, from Boise to Baylor. Can you provide any clarity about the conversations you had with Baylor staff and, and, and what went on there? So I really uh, appreciate that question because I think it's an important one. But I don't have anything more to add than what my statement was. I really don't. This is about our football team. And, uh, you know, that's, that's really where I'm, I'm at on that whole thing. Talk like about uh, worrisome time, you know, getting into the season. Stressful job being a head coach. How do you handle it? You running out every day? I do. I try to get some exercise, and it's getting closer. You know, we're towards the end of camp, and we're trying to make sure our schedule, we got these three days. that Once we get into the season, we're really pretty routine guys. These last couple days, we're doing some different things, and we got raised the woof, and some, you know, we got to finish up our, we got our little talent show that we got to finish up, and so those are really important things, <laughs> and so our schedule's kind of all, and and so it's kind of getting to be a little bit of a hectic time, and now we're trying to make sure our young guys know what the heck they're doing, and so the blood pressure's starting to go up a little bit. So then you get through these next few days, and we'll get into our routine. Chris, with the the Baylor thing, the assumption from your statement that most people made, I think, was that you had specifically told them that there were some issues involving violence and women with him. Yeah. Is, is that a fair assumption to make from that? Here, here's my thing, and I'm not trying to be vague and all that, but it's just, not, it's just not my time to say anything other than my statement. I mean, I think my statement says it loud and clear, and, uh, you know, that's where we are. Have you spoke with Coach Browse since the reports came out Friday? I appreciate what you're saying. We're talking <laughs> about Washington football here. What kind of what kind of player you think you're, you're going to be facing in Ryan Finley, the quarterback, since they just named him? Yeah, and... Uh, I think he's a good player. Um, I think he's really good. Um, he can move. Um, big, tall, 6'4", smooth delivery. Um, when they put him in last year, he produced. And so um, we thought really highly of him when we recruited him over there. And so um, he's a good player. He had an arm injury, I think, your last year. There. He did. He, you know, it was interesting. When he came in in the summertime, he kind of had a tendonitis thing. And then I think they found it was, you know, something a little bit more than that. And so he really didn't throw a whole lot. but. Really a smart person, um, and you know when you put tape on from last year when you played, you say, yeah, that's that's what we saw in high school, but better. In terms of announcing your quarterback to publicly, yep. What do you have any sort of framework for that, or yeah. is it possible you go to Boise, not letting any of us? Know? Yeah, it, it could be possible. I, you, you guys can maybe help me out. What, what would be the way to create the <laughs> let the least drama? <clears throat> Say it right now. <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. If we could do that, I would do that. Because they don't know. a mass text message to everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think there's a chance it could be that. I, you know, we're not trying to, sure. you know, we're just trying to figure out how to keep these guys pointed in the right direction and keep them thinking about the game rather than all the other stuff that goes with it. Are we at depth chart stage yet, or are we still at seating chart um, stage? Well, I'll tell you this. You know, when we go into the first game, we're at a depth chart stage. But as soon as that game's over, it really goes back to the seeding. I mean, I just want it always to be like that for our kids. And, I mean, you, you look at our roster. I mean, what do we have, 13 seniors? I mean, so it's just a lot of young guys. And so there's going to be guys that get opportunities. And I don't want anybody to think, because I didn't pull, you know, I didn't get much time the first three weeks. And it's like, that's how the season's going to be. If they take that mentality, that's how it is going to be for them. But if they can keep working and staying positive, they're going to play. Who's emerged so far? <clears throat> give, give us some guys other than Connor Griffin, you know, so that have really <laughs> taken steps forward. Um, what position? Ask me a position. Um, defensive line, offensive line. Okay. Um, the D line. 
you know, I think uh, Tawny's done a nice job in there. I think Elijah Gray Gaines uh, done a good job. Um, JoJo Mathis plays hard in there. Uh, Will Disley and all those guys. Damian Turpin's gotten better. Um, probably forgetting somebody in there, but I think they've done a good job. I think on the whole line, Elder Camp Sifa, those guys have taken a lot of reps. You know, they've been doing a great job in there. Um, trying to think. Maybe a redshirt freshman on the team we haven't seen I play. Think Boomer, I think uh, Jesse Sosby Boomer has done a nice job. I mean, he's getting better. I think Caleb McGarry is getting better, getting better. Um, who else would fall into that mix? Yeah. Matt James in the mix. Still Matt James right is in there battling. Yep, all those guys. Chris, what's your philosophy on regarding the quarterback situation? Do you, do you kind of tell yourself, hey, whoever our guy is, he's going to be our guy. We're going to take some lumps with him if we have to, but let him grow and mature. Yeah. And, or do you say to yourself, the first minute we put, he kind of shows he's not the guy, we're willing to change if we have to? How do you? Yeah, and, and that's a fine line because guys are going to make mistakes mm -hmm. and you don't want them looking over their shoulder. But, you know, it could be that situation. There's going to be, you know, two guys or three guys to play. Mm -hmm. I mean, it could be that. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to be honest on this thing. And I know it sounds vague, but we're, I, I think it is day-to-day -day and week-to-week, -week, uh, and that's where we are. You kind of joked a couple weeks ago about giving Tony more reps. I mean, yeah. Was that just sarcasm, or do you really feel like I – mean, is, is, is the plan still to redshirt him? I think that would be the ideal plan. Okay. You know, he really has done some nice things. He gets the ball out quick, and I do, I do think he feels the game. Now, again, I kind of keep going back to this long season. I just remember, remember how we were thinking going in, and then a month later, some different kids had to be playing for us. And so I think it would be ideal if we could redshirt him. Mm -hmm. But again, mm -hmm. I think you get through the first month of the season and kind of say, okay, do we need to adjust our plans here? Yeah. You mentioned the, the trip to Boise, the matchup maybe being a little bit awkward for you going back yeah. there. As we're a little closer to the game now, is it more, you think it's more awkward, less awkward? How are you feeling? It's insane. I mean, again, I think as we get closer, I'm just so much more focused on our guys being able to do what we need them to do. I mean, do we have the detail that we need to be able to compete against this really good team? Okay. Thanks, everybody. All right, guys. Thanks, Thanks Scott. Thank you.